Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back on the Angel Mountain map. Let's get back to it. It's a brand new day. A little after 7 in the morning here, I've got a load of sheep. In this episode, we've got a whole bunch of kind of odds and ends to do. A mammoth mill is just about out of iron, and we want to keep that, uh, keep that mill running to produce drill pipe and steel and nails. We need a bunch of that stuff, so I don't want that, uh... That little factory to stop. So we'll do some of that. We've got another greenhouse we could empty out to raise some cash. We have some pallets that need to be moved with a forklift. And we have some work over at the refinery too. We've just got a ton. I don't know if we'll get to all of it. But we'll get to some of it. Probably do the mining first. The iron mining. And get Mammoth Mill at least loaded up with maybe a half a million. Let's hop out and open the doors here for our sheep. How many do we have? 787 so far. I think that pen can hold 2,000 and here comes another whatever this is. 38 or 36, something like that. If I can get my truck close by. Not close enough. Alright, that's got to be good. Select. Move to husbandry. Yep. You can see all the sheep we have here. Let's see, what's our most mature right now? I've only, only been bringing in the really young ones. That one's six months old. And I think that's the highest value one. So yeah, the oldest ones are six months. Uh, if we look at the animal display, let's take a look at that. And let's go over to the sheep. We can kind of see the same thing. Yeah, six month old and they're almost, these guys are 75% of the way through puberty. So they'll start reproducing on their own pretty soon. And then we've got a whole mess of more sheep just waiting. This little batch of 39 has, uh, is 62% of the way through puberty. The only ones that we have, animals we have out of puberty are dairy cows. We bought, we bought several of these dozens that are fully mature. And so these guys still have to go through a timer to, uh, to reproduce. I'm curious while I'm here, how much milk do we have? Not much. Not much. Yeah, we need a lot more milk to get our dairy going. Um, let's uh, park this trailer. Unhook from this guy. Not sure where our other... Trailers are, but we need our, we need our kind of loose trailer to do some mining. We'll have to find that. Let's uh, shut the doors here on the sheep pen. And we'll do our chickens. Maybe we'll do chickens when we do sheep from now on. Not sure we need to do them every episode. We're getting a lot. I'm buying a lot of these at a time. There they are. Roosters look kind of cool in there, I think. All right. Not lights, this guy. So we've been doing the max on these, which is what? 60, I think. Yeah, 60 chickens. Buy these. Uh, we've got 1110. We'll buy those. Yep. And we'll do the same thing here. 60 of these. And five roosters just for fun. So that's that one taken care of. Um, these guys, yeah, we have a bunch of wheat we're harvesting, so we can bring more grain over if they need it. I don't think they do. Hey, how did that chicken get out of there? There's a little one just went running through there. Uh, let's go to the other chicken coop. Just teleport ourselves over there. That is... Where? Where are you? Oh, I need to put animals back on, I think. On the display here. Animals, I take it off because look at all our bee... <laughs> look at all the beehives we have on field 10. I can't even see that field with animals turned on. 
So, but we need it so I can teleport over here. Visit. And we'll do the same thing. Uh, I keep hitting my light instead of the R key. Uh, five roosters, sure. And then these little baby ones, let's do the 60. And then these guys. All right, that's done. We're done with the animals. Let's pay off 20 grand of debt. We still have 100 grand in the bank. Let's pay off 20 grand. Last episode, we took a million dollar loan and we paid it off in the same episode. <laughs> so our cash is pretty low right now. One, two, three, four. So we're getting to where we're being the fives before too long. Five million dollars in debt. All right. There's progress on our brand new wheat field. This is the field that we bought. I think this is like almost six million dollars for this field. We got a bunch of straw to pick up and we're going to have a bunch of wheat. Uh, that's one of the things we might get to. Oh, I've got a field here. I got to finish rolling. I was rolling this one manually between episodes. We might get to that. But what I want to do first is, yeah, we need to go. We need to go mine some iron. Let's look at the map and see if I can find my trailer. I think it's, it could be one of these. We'll use that flatbed. I might, oh, let's uh, teleport into this guy. And then we can uh, maybe take a look and see if it's over here. Yeah, that's the one I want, the red one. Let's go back to our truck. And we'll head over there and pick up the trailer. Um, I think the first thing we'll do before we start mining iron actually is let's go pick up some of the wheat that we're harvesting from our brand new field. And let's load up the grain mill and get that thing running. We can get a jump start on producing flour. The bakery, I think, is waiting on milk and eggs and maybe butter and yeast, potentially. <clears throat> so bakery's not using any flour just yet, but we can get to jump on producing flour for our 10 million liter objective, if nothing else. We'll do that first, I think. Load up the grain mill. Just be like a few trips. And then we'll start loading some iron in a mammoth mill. Probably, like I said, we'll probably try and take that up to a half a million liters. We'll do that in a time lapse. We have a lot to do. We have a bunch of straw in one of our field silos to go pick up and bring over to the composter. We've got TMR to mix, tons of it to mix. <laughs> We've got silt to mine. We've got coal that needs a little bit of mining. The stone processing plants need rocks. So we've got to do some mining over there. But we'll just chip away at it. All right, we're coming up on our brand new wheat field. This thing's huge. Let's get some of this freshly harvested wheat out of here and take it over to the mill. Might be quite a few trips to fill the mill up. It might have something in it. We'll take a look here in a second if I can park. All right, there's our wheat, 450,000 liters so far. Let's take a look at the mill. Greenhouse, uh, we have, yeah, we have room for a million. So yeah, I'm gonna make several trips and get this wheat loaded into the mill. I'll probably empty out the farm silo. Probably do this in a time lapse. Here we go.
All right, we're coming in with our last load of wheat. At least our last load of wheat for now. So we've got a bunch in the grain mill. We're going to take a look. As soon as we unload this, we'll take a look at the grain mill and see how much is in there and see if it has fuel. I think the grain mill runs on diesel. And I don't remember the last time I brought diesel over here, so we'll see. Might need to make a trip. All right, yeah, let's take a look. All right, here we are at the greenhouse. We put in half a million liters of wheat. That's all we have so far in that field silo. And it looks like the diesel was topped off before we came. So we're in good shape. We got tons of pallets, tons of wheat, and we've got room for tons of flour to come out. Cornmeal too. Eventually we're gonna have corn. We need to plant it. Uh, all right, next up, let's go mine some iron. I wanna get that done too. We're going to do about a half a million liters. At least that's my goal. It's been a while since I've done mining. Let's hit on top of Angel Mountain here. And then we will... Um, I think we're going to need to change the bucket on the wheel loader. I think we've got that set up for coal right now. And coal is so heavy. I use a smaller bucket for that. But iron's not as bad. We've already got our 10 million liters of iron, if I'm not mistaken. So we don't need to make trips over to the farm silo. With iron, we can just take everything straight on into Mammoth Mill. And again, that's going to help us produce steel for our 10 million liter objectives. Um, steel for the old man's mill, where we make the wheelchairs and the walkers. Then we've got nails for 10 million liter objective and nails for... I think the carpentry shop uses that and old man's mill. So basically, we just need to make sure... Mammoth Mill keeps processing iron ore for a good long time. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been over here. Let's go to the iron mine. Yeah, there's our bucket. We'll need to switch over to that. Pretty sure the wheel loader is sitting next to our coal pit. Where do we want to start? I guess anywhere in here is fine. All right, let's tab over to the wheel loader. There we go. Uh, this guy's got a little bit of coal. Let's dump that. And how's this guy looking on fuel and maintenance? Not bad. We might grab a little bit of fuel out of the maintenance trailer. And and while we're there, we may uh, might as well actually do the maintenance. And we could power wash this guy too. Looks like he's a little caked. And obviously change the bucket. I guess we'll power wash with this old bucket on. That's a weight that I got off of the uh, farming simulator mod hub. That helps quite a bit for some of the heavier ores I'm shoveling. I think it's, I can't remember what that's called. I think it's called lightweight, not because it's physically light, but because there's lights mounted to it. This guy could use a paint job too at some point. All right, that's looking quite a bit better than it was. Let's trade out these buckets. Actually, I think I'm going to skip the maintenance and the fuel. We might be able to get by. We've got quite a bit. Should last for a while. All right, let's get into the ore pile here. The 
Like I said, I think it's going to be about nine trips. Here we go. just about finished with that big big job i actually did 10 loops where at the start of the loop grabbed some or mined some iron ore took that over to the mammoth mill and then ran over to a field silo to pick up straw that's what i've got here drop that into the compost factory 
and then picked up a load of compost and took a load to each of our eight greenhouses and our two orchards. And so three loads per trip, about 60,000 per load. So 180,000 liters per trip, 10 trips. That's 1.8 million liters of product that we just moved. That's a bit of progress, not too bad. And our greenhouses and our orchards now have a fresh batch of compost to work on. Get this last batch of compost over to the far greenhouse. And then we'll probably take the truck in for a little bit of maintenance. And then we'll take a look and see kind of where things stand over by the main farm. Kind of want to look and see how much of the iron products we've got stored up towards our 10 million liter objective. We just hauled about 600,000 liters of iron into Mammoth Mill. And we've been using the products, the drill pipe and the nails and the steel for other products. But we've also been saving some up. And I'm kind of curious to see how much we have saved up towards the 10 million liter objective. We'll head over there after dropping off this last batch of compost. These greenhouses can each store 5 million liters <laughs> of compost. Now they're not even close to having a million liters each. And I don't know if we'll ever get them up to 5 million liters. It does. It takes a while for it to burn through that much product. But we've got the storage if we need it. We still have um, about a half a million, maybe a little more, half a million liters of straw out at the field silo by field 28. And we're going to get many millions of liters of straw from the uh, wheat field that's currently being harvested. Let's just park over here for a second. Actually, I'm going to park by the uh, power washer because we'll give the truck a wash here. And we'll run it over to the maintenance building and service the truck and the trailer while we're here. Cash is at 70,000. We've got a couple workers doing stuff for us. That's going to go way down once we start seeding uh, a couple of the fields. Let's see if this is going to pop up for us. There it goes. Yeah, so look at the steel. It's actually the top one. We've got 3.8 million liters saved towards our 10 million liter objective. Pretty close with nails. And then the other one is drill pipe. We haven't saved much. We're taking most of that over to the uh, the oil rigs. We've got 400,000 liters. That's about two truckloads brought over. That's what all the iron ore is being used for. Uh, let's go power wash the truck here and the trailer. And we're going to switch trailers. And empty out one of the uh, empty out one of the greenhouses here. We need to raise some cash, and then that particular greenhouse that we're going to go empty out has some products we need to take to, I think the bakery and the slushy factory and maybe the soda factory. I'm not totally positive. And then I think there's a couple products in there that we can sell. It'll help our cash situation a little bit. There's a bunch of stuff over at the refinery that we can sell. That'll help our cash situation. Again, we're going to be spending a bunch of money on seeds here pretty soon uh, with our helpers. I want to get our, our cash balance up a bit if we can. We just bought that $5.5 million field, <laughs> the wheat field, but I think that was worth doing. All right, let's go take this guy in for service. Uh, we can stop and get fuel, too. Got the fuel tank on the way here. This thing is pretty much loaded. And that's one thing we're making ourselves, so we're not paying for that. We'll run this guy over to the service trailer. There's our nut house and our dried fruit factory. Working on cherries and bananas, still waiting on grapes. We got a bunch of grapes. I forgot how much we spent on those grape fields or grape vineyard. I'm planning on expanding that too once we harvest, but we've got a ways to go before we get there, I think. All right, let's spend some cash. 4,400 for the trailer, another 4,000 for the truck. That puts our balance down to 61,000. Let's go do something about it. Let's go head over to the greenhouse. We've got one of our, our um, curtain side trailers sitting there waiting for us. And like I said, I think we have at least a couple loads. That should get us 80,000 each, I'm guessing, roughly. That'd be, that might bring us up to close to a quarter of a million dollars in the bank. That should, that would do us, that would do us pretty good. 
for the seating bills we're about to get and the helper bills. Just park this trailer right here, tipper. Let's head over to, I think that's actually Greenhouse 3. And see what we've got in here. I'll set him auto load. And let's see what we've got. Uh, blueberries. That's... Okay, we can load them up. I think we need to deliver these to a business. Get those loaded. Let's look at our production lines. Probably going to get a save here. Production lines. Where might we use blueberries? Um, not there. Not grapes. Now the greenhouses and house. Oh, we've got eggs we need to deliver too. Don't think we'll get to that this episode. Oh, let's look at um, mammoth milk just for the heck of it. Yeah, 546,000 liters now in storage, and some of that's already been produced into nails and drill pipe and things. I thought there was a place we needed to take these blueberries. There it is, blueberry slushy. Um, how are we doing? Yeah, let's take the blueberries over to the slushy factory. Might as well prioritize the businesses over the uh, 10 million liter objective stuff. I think the businesses are gonna take a bit longer to process things than it will take for us to grow more produce. So yeah, off we go to the slushy factory. All right, we're dropping off blueberries. Let's, uh, while we're in the neighborhood, let's check the ice house and see if we need to deliver ice at all. Uh, no, it doesn't look like we have much. Not worth picking that up. And then I wanted to check the Mammoth Mill on the way back. If we have silver, we do. I think I can only haul like 25,000 liters at a time. We've got 56. Um, there's no more silver ore being processed, but let's on the way back grab a load of silver and just drop it off into storage. I think that was silver, right? Yeah, yep, let's go. All right, we'll unload the sir silver into storage. It goes super quick. There's not many liters there, but it is 50 pallets. All right, let's head back to the greenhouse. Let's make sure I'm emptied out. I am.
All right, next up it's cabbage. Yeah, this needs to go, I think, to the fermenting plant. So no cash for this crop, but we'll get products. I thought we'll check the business here and just see if it needs it. I'm pretty sure it does. That's a relatively new business. We have not topped that off. Let's find that fermenting house. And it is... Yeah, we need a bunch of cabbage there, so let's take that. All right, that's cabbage. Let's, uh, I'm gonna swing by Mammoth Mill and pick up that other load of steel. I mean, uh, other load of silver. And then I'll meet you back at the greenhouse. All right, back at the greenhouse. Our cash is, <laughs> our cash continues to get lower. We're at 60,000. Like I said, I think there's a couple of crops in here we're gonna sell, but we'll see. I think there's some we need to go uh, deliver though too. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, let me make sure my auto load's on here. Blueberry's done. Cabbage is done. Dill. Dill we can sell. Let's do it. We need the cash. And let's see where that sells. Dill down here, we've actually got some in storage too. Uh, dill looks like our best price is at the supermarket. That's right across from, right across Angel Mountain. We'll be cutting right through it. Here we go. All right, Dill got us 67,000. Not a ton. But it's something. I'll meet you back at the greenhouse. There's Dill. Boy, we almost have another truckload full of that. But let's do pumpkin. That one can sell for sure. Pumpkin. Looks like we're going to take that to the farmer's market. Not bad. 371. Uh, 74,000. Pretty good. All right, next up is raspberry. This, I think we have somewhere to take this. Let's double check. Can't remember. Production lines. Is it slushy? Slushy factory, maybe? Uh, let's see. Blueberry, cinnamon, sugar, melon. No, no raspberry there. What about soda? No. Oh, I thought for sure there was a raspberry thing. Maybe not. Maybe we can sell these. Just scan through here real quick. I don't think raspberries would be used in here, although melon is. We have stuff we could put into storage here, too. Um, that's our dairy. I don't imagine that takes raspberry. This takes strawberries. And there's room for more, so we'll remember that. Yeah, I guess we sell them. Well, I thought we had a use for these. Let's see where they sell. Raspberries. There they are, finally. Ooh, we get a good price for these at the market. $6.24. Nice. Yeah, that's almost double. What we got for the pumpkins. See, so yeah, we gotta go to the market. That's a little ways away. 
But that trip will be worth it. That trip will be worth it. We'll see what that adds up to. We can, well, it's going to be like a, what, 120,000? That'd be pretty awesome. We could use the cash for sure. We need to buy, um, next episode or in a couple episodes, we need to go plant some trees way over by field 10. That's the field where we cut all the grass and planted um, potatoes and put down all those two dozen, three dozen <laughs> apiaries. We need to go plant trees there and we're going to need money for those. So this will help with that too. That'll probably be the next thing that we spend money on, I would think. Still want to buy a coal power plant and a plot of land for that too. So we're going to need, we're going to need a lot more cash. And as I mentioned, we have the seeding bills coming. We have two big fields to seed. And that's going to cost some cash. Awesome. 125,000. That is good for us. Don't think there's anything for us to pick up and take back to Matt to um the main farm. Now let's take a look. Maybe there is at Mammoth Mill. Let's just take a quick look. Do we have like steel or anything? Steel, nails, nails we could maybe take. Let's do that. I'm gonna stop and pick up a load of nails from Mammoth Mill and just bring it up to uh, the main farm for our 10 million liter objective on nails. I know the sawmill, uh, not the sawmill, but the carpentry mill needs nails. Um, but this will still leave 75,000 liters in. In Mammoth Mill that we can use the forklift and bring some of those over to the carpentry mill. Maybe next episode. And then um, the old man's mill making the wheelchairs, the walkers, and the feather dusters. I think they need nails too, but it's not urgent. I'm just going to take advantage of this return trip to get an extra load in. There's jars here we can sell too, but uh, I'm not going to bother with that this episode. Got one more task in mind after we do the em finish emptying out the screen house. And then we'll call it an episode. Whoops, I pulled a little too close. Maybe that'll work. That might work. Uh, auto load. And we're just going to take nails back to the main farm. Yeah, drill pipe. We need more drill pipe. Hopefully that will produce fairly quick. Oh, I see lots of planks there that need to be moved. That's a job for another day. We'll be getting the forklift out. Maybe move the nails and those planks in the same time. At some point we're going to cut all the trees in this forestry area too. We only own half of that land in that forestry section. But I do want to get those cut down and replanted. We'll probably buy the other plot and just clear that whole area out. Put those logs in storage. And then uh, replant because it's going to take a long time. The way I'm planting it for trees to regrow. But that's another episode down the road. It'll be a little while before we get to that. Strawberries. We can take those to the bakery or we can sell them. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to, hmm. I think I'm going to sell, <laughs> I think I'm going to sell them. We need the cash and the bakery is not really producing anything with strawberries yet. We're still lagging on the dairy products, uh, the milk and the yeast. We do have eggs now, but we, I think we need a few more things before we can, uh, really get the bakery going. So what else do we have here? Two more products. We get strawberries and broccoli, and then we're done with this. Done with this task for this episode. Um, yeah, let's sell this batch of strawberries. We really do need the cash, as always. Strawberries, I think, are going to be up here. It's a base game product. Might be near the top of the list. Could be wrong, but I think they're up here. Where are you? There you are. Uh, not the best price. Farmer's Market has it 424. Uh, that's worth doing. Let's, let's run them over the Farmer's Market. Uh, 
85,000 for the strawberries. One more product, then we're done clearing the greenhouse. I think it was, what was it, broccoli or something? Broccoli it is. That is the last one. Uh, we can sell that. We're not using that currently. Boom. Broccoli, I think, is going to be down here somewhere. There it is. Broccoli. Uh, not the best price. Market for three nineteen. We'll take it. Be a little more than sixty thousand. So almost, almost to half a million. We do have a lot of product to. Well, we have a lot of product waiting for us over at the refinery. A lot of oxygen, hydrogen, and diesel. I'm gonna probably. We'll see. Next episode, perhaps, we'll sell a little bit of that, um, and store a little bit of that. And so that'll, that'll kick up our balance a little bit. And then we'll just have to see how much those poplars cost. Or not poplars. <laughs> poplars. I wish our poplar field was ready to harvest. Although, you know what? We need a forage harvester. Let's take a look at the used market. I haven't looked in a while. Anything good. We saw that. We saw that manure spreader. I thought about using that for our little field up by the main farm, but... I'm not going to bother with it, at least not yet. And then, yeah, there's a forge wagon here, but it's a slightly smaller capacity than the ones we already have. And I think we have three. So we're probably okay for now. Yeah, I think so. Although we're going to have a forge wagon that's going to be tied up for a good long time once that wheat field is harvested. We've got a ton of straw to pick up. But yeah, let's get this broccoli over to the market, right? I better check that price again. I forgot what it was. I think it was the market. Yeah. Off we go. There we go. 64,000. We are done with that task. I'm just going to make sure all the pallets got out. Yep. Looks good. All right. Back to base. All right, we're back here at the main farm. I'm just going to run this trailer and our truck through the power washer. And then we'll get to that one last task I want to get done this episode. We got a lot done. We actually raised a good amount of cash, too. So not bad. But yeah, let's get this guy, this trailer cleaned up for next time. Looking pretty grubby. All right, that's looking a lot better, and I think our truck is pretty clean, too. Got a bunch of scratched paint, but that's all right. We'll get it painted again. Every, one, every once in a while, I do pull in and repaint it. All right, turn that off, and I'm going to park this guy up over here. And the next episode, I think we'll be getting cows, so we'll obviously change trailers for that. But let's tab over to... There's one more guy I want to get to. Not this one. Let's see the progress if we look at the uh, mini-map here. We're not even halfway through harvesting this field. So, I I don't know, man. I think this was a good purchase. Like I said, <laughs> we're going to have a helper that's super busy on here picking up all this straw. We're not going to do that ourselves. That would take forever. And this is not even close to being the largest field on the map. But it's our biggest field by far. So, yeah, we'll have a ton of straw we can use to make compost. Make TMR, um, use for bedding for the animals, and then uh, use for our 10 million liter objective. And we'll have a good amount of wheat, too. I'm trying to think of what we'll plant here next. We just planted oats on 28, but I'm inclined to actually plant oats here, too. Because I've got my eye on the cereal factory, and I think there's like four or five production lines that all require oats. Uh, but we'll see. Haven't made a decision on that. 
That's not what I wanted to see or what I wanted to get to. This guy. I started um, rolling this field myself between episodes. It was actually in... I was doing it on a recording that, that I lost. The computer crashed or something. But let me take a look and see how far along we are on this field. Uh, with the rolling, that is. Let's uh, move this forward. Yeah, needs rolling. Let's see. It looks like I'm more than halfway done. I think I started back here. Just waiting for the map to load. Yeah, I missed a couple spots. But yeah, I'm going to finish rolling this. And then we'll just wrap the episode here. I'll finish out with the time lapse of me doing the rolling. Um, this is our poplar field. It shows it needs rolling. I did actually roll this once between episodes, so I don't... No, I don't know that it actually does need rolling. Um, doesn't seem like a crop you would normally roll. Let's see how crops everything's doing. 28 is going to need more fertilizer. I think 21 is just waiting on us to plant some corn. So that might be a priority for next episode too. Pretty sure this is good to go. I'll wait for the map to load again. Yeah, it doesn't need lime. It's got one layer of fertilizer that we inherited just from having the, um, the clover on there last time. And if I click mulched, I don't know if that'll show up as being mulched or not. I guess it does. Mulched, okay, needs rolling. Uh, what else do we need? I think that's it. Yeah, we just need to plant corn on that. That'll be probably next episode. We'll get a worker on that. What else? What other fields do we have going on? I gotta turn off the animals to clear all these and <laughs> clear all these apiaries. Uh, where are you? Animals, boom. And now I want to see the status of field 10. I think that's gonna need fertilizer too once we get past the next uh, growth stage. Double check. Waiting for the map to load. No, we got full fertilize on 10. Good. Good, good, good. So it's just 28 we need to remember to fertilize. And then, obviously, yeah, there's 31. Look, we're not even halfway done harvesting that. We got a ton of weed off of that. That's awesome. What else? Let's look at the growth on these guys. 26 is coming up. I think that's barley. What else? 25's got a ways to go. 27. This poplar takes forever. Forever. Man. In fact, it takes so long. We need it for Mammoth Mill to make planks and stuff a lot faster. We can make them a lot faster out of wood chips than, uh, than the sawmills are putting out planks. And we have two sawmills. It's still not enough. So I'm counting on poplar. What we'll probably do, especially now that we have this huge field 31, 28 has... Oats on it, I believe. Um, next time we might make this poplar too, just because it's so close and convenient to Mammoth Mill. And I think we can make use of all those wood chips. So this is our grapes. They have a ways to go. And once we harvest, we're going to have to take out some of these grapevines so we can get the harvester out, out of this, out of the rows because they're super long rows. I don't know how many grapes will fit in the harvester, but I don't want to pull through and then back out. So I didn't know where to put the brakes in, so we'll have to rip out some vines. But that's not bad. Uh, that's got a ways to go, actually. Um, fertilizing, I don't think we have anything to worry about on those. Double check. Loading the map. Tess needs plowing. I don't think it does. That's the first step that we did. Yeah, and it shows that they're fertilized. It's not bad. Yeah, so let's wrap it here. I'm going to finish rolling this field. And this is Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on the Angel Mountain map. We're trying to save up 10 million liters each of over 280 products. It's going to be close to 300 by the time we're, we're done. Includes things like snow and road salt. Everything. <laughs> Flour, onions, <laughs> everything you can think of. We're going to try and save up 10 million liters. But yeah, we're well on our way. I will see you all in the next episode.